it's daylight saving time and I got up, thought it was earlier and I realized that I stayed in bed till almost 10 a.m. today because I forgot to set my clocks forward. And then I am headed over to uh, catch the bus and the train and head to uh, a brunch this morning. And then I was going to try to hit the library downtown Atlanta like I always do. Like I said, I'd been slacking off. And as you notice, my vlogs are a lot shorter. Even though I've um, managed to put my intro in them and I've managed to get a, a shot or two in there. But that just means that I don't have as much time to do more daily vlogs. And uh, I'm not going to have much time now because um, I uh, just got offered a second job in addition to the one that I have now. Uh, that second job is at a, a real estate firm where I used to work uh, uh, several years ago doing cold calls for. And uh, this time they needed help with some administrative assistance. And I needed that money anyway. And so luckily I was able to... Uh, Get, get that phone call from my former supervisor and uh, I uh, had emailed him about uh, an autism conference that's coming up on April 16th, which is our uh, statewide Georgia autism uh, conference, or they call it the Autism Conference, an exposition of Georgia. And I invited him to that because I wanted him to uh, be involved. I have a few things I wanted him to be involved with my life anyway, but uh, anyway, he called me up on my office line when I was at work last Thursday and he uh, told me that they needed another assistant and I told them that I'm not going to quit my job, uh, but I told them I'd be happy to um, work, with, work there in addition to the job that I have now. And I told them that uh, I'm not interested in getting my real estate license. I went through real estate school when I first started my blogs and um, I never really uh, had a chance to share that with anybody. And uh, what I discovered is that real estate is not my thing. The only thing in that, um, uh, the only terminology I was interested in there was the ADA and uh, civil rights. But other than that, I'm not really interested in uh, real estate. It's not psychology, it's not math, it's not astronomy, and it's not physics. But um, I am going there for the extra hours and the extra money because I need it so I can pay for uh, school in the fall if uh, the scholarship doesn't pan out. Uh, because I'd like to be done uh, by next year, at least next spring or next summer, with my first, uh, ba with my second degree, or rather my bachelor's. And I'd like to march at Turner Field, which is now uh, part of Georgia State University. Thank you very much. in response to a thumbs down that I got on my last uh, vlog regarding uh, the autism airport rehearsal tours or the taking flight program that I get myself involved with and I guess I can figure out why but I'm not real sure number one I was a little too redundant in the last vlog and then maybe I uh, said a little bit too much or I was a little too rude to that lady uh, wiping off my table the second time and the truth was I didn't need to snap at her I didn't need to growl at her and I have no excuse for it uh, rather next time somebody does that I thank them a second time and probably uh, mention that uh, ma'am once is enough thank you so much uh, and not to growl at them uh, and not get into an argument and not get them muttering and get to a place where I need to complain. But 
Again, I'm not going to eat at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport anymore unless it's absolutely necessary because A, most of the time that airport is crowded and that cr those crowds can be really, really unpredictable. And B, as I said, that stuff is expensive, but I wanted to emphasize uh, a little bit more on the parent situation. And uh, there, again, there's just several things on that last vlog that I did that were terrible. And YouTube, and those of you that are parents, I'm really sorry. And uh, so here it is. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about uh, volunteering at the Autism Airport Rehearsal Tours, or this program which is taking flight, a majority of these parents and uh, and their families, they go through. And being who I am, I've just started to uh, hand out my business cards and hand out my blogs, my, my blogging business cards, because I want to stay in touch with these people. And I'm thinking as uh, someone who is on the spectrum, someone who is a leader, someone who is the mentor, they're going to need to hear uh, what they can do from someone that has uh, lived through being autistic or lived through being with Asperger's syndrome. And they're not always the friendliest people out there. And one of the things that's really bugs me is because here I am trying to um, offer them some advice and trying to offer them some help. And regardless of that, they're too proud to accept help from me and they're too proud to uh, admit or that they need that help, I guess. I don't know what it is. Uh, some of those parents are just so caught in their own little world and some of them, I guess, are way too protective with their children. And there's a, a load of insecurity there. But one thing I know is that I, you saw me interview that really cool couple and their fun little boy Colton. You saw, well, actually, I didn't get a chance to interview him. I tried to, but he ran away from me because he didn't want to be on camera. And he was more um, interested in the moving walkways down in the uh, areas where you can walk versus taking the uh, electric plane train. I forget what the acronym for that train is, but He's just, um, it's just that, that was a cool couple. I mean, I wasn't talking about them. There were other people that day, and I don't feel like getting into it, that uh, they had an attitude with me. Like, they thought they were more important. And um, so, there's nothing really I can do. If those people want to turn their noses up at me because I don't happen to um, have whatever it is they're looking for if they're insecure, but, Despite all of all that, one of my friends, Andy Norble, or Norble has been following me uh, for a long time and he comments on all of my vlogs. And uh, one of the things he said that all the nice parents usually do all the ones that are crummy or snobby like that. And the truth is, he's right. Like, there was that awesome couple that let me interview them when I was uh, down in the plane train. and. Those are the ones that definitely would like my business cards and those are the ones that will probably be likely to contact me in the future. So what I'm going to do is not focus on the negative or focus on uh, the people that aren't capable of receiving help or aren't capable of learning from somebody on the spectrum. And uh, I'm going to educate the ones who are. And the best thing to do is just focus on uh, getting my ideas out there, educating as many families as possible, uh, continuing to write my written works and my written blogs, continue to get involved with the um, ADA committee at the, airport, at the airport, and not let some people like that ruin my day.
had this brunch maybe around noon or so. Noon, 1130, depending on when the number 36 bus at the Midtown Marta station is available. I'll have to check the schedule. But I'm hoping for some lox and bagels. I'm hoping they have uh, some orange juice and some champagne. Yes, I do drink mimosas once in a while, but I don't go extravagant over it. Um, as I said in one of my last vlogs, yes, they, I do I do have a drink or two, but I'm not going to drink in any of my vlogs. But I'm hoping you guys can uh, say hello to Gaby Baby again, or his real name is Gabe Monet, but everybody calls him Gaby Baby. And again, he and I have been buds since day one, and he's into film too. And he follows me on YouTube. Uh, I'll have to give him and some of the others my business cards, depending on if there are any left. 